it's a new dawn. The tool I've been developing for pretty much the past year, maybe year and a half, has really taken a massive transformation today. And I wanted to completely revamp it. It's a whole new project because I've added a lot to it. Let's jump right into it. And the new run command, I'm actually changing it from the old one. Yes, I could have probably used the old one, but Git IO is actually being removed, the URL shortener. And also I didn't like how it was done. To launch this command, really simple. Uh, I actually shortened this into an IIWR, or invoke web request. And it is very easy to remember because I control all the URL shortening now. So if we actually just pull up your PowerShell with admin, we'll have this at PowerShell. And you can easily remember this command. You don't have to always go to my website, which my website's right here. I'll link it up above. Uh, you can always go to that web page and it will give you this tool. But IWR-USB or USEB. So think IWR, invoke web request. That's how we download stuff on Windows. USB, think USB in your computer, except with an E, space, HTTPS, ChrisTitus.com forward slash win, because you're winning if you're using this tool. And then we do an IEX. Think of iPhone, but we're executing stuff. So IEX. And that will launch into this tool. And I, I still have some verbose stuff on just for troubleshooting. But the first thing that I improved, the installer. I want you to be able to use this. A lot of people know Night Night to install stuff, but Night Night just isn't very good when you could use Winget. And what that does, let's say you take two things, we can hit start install. This will pop up new things, show you the installer, but you could easily walk away from your computer and it should install all these programs. So you can install 20 different programs if you wanted, which is great. So this will actually go through and install all of them. Boom, and it gives you, hey, install programs, auto hotkey, and 7-zip. But let's say I have a ton of programs installed, like 30 or something, I can actually click upgrade installs. And this will go through and upgrade every single program on my computer. So uh, anything installed through this program or anything on Winget will be upgraded. And you don't have to go through to the website, download the executable, and all that nonsense. Done. So the installer here, I'm actually going to cancel this will upgrade every single install, which is absolutely amazing. So that's the power of the install tab, the tweaks tab, which is completely different. And also, just in case you didn't notice, this right here, you can put this on a 600 by 400 PC and it'll still look right. Or you could have it on a 4K monitor, blow it all the way up. Everything scales. Now, some of the scaling between tabs is not quite locked in yet so still some room for improvement but the tweaks is the old d bloat this is how the script all started back in the day and this is where i basically took all these i made recommended selections but i wanted to make it more customizable in the old script this was essential tweaks but in the new one if you're on a desktop click desktop if you're on a laptop click laptop and if you just want the bare minimum like just get rid of telemetry and some basic privacy and security things. Just click minimal, run the tweaks, and it's good to go. And you can see what's happening in the background, the, where we actually launched this script from. You might see a couple little errors here on Windows 11. Home group, I think, actually was removed, so this is no longer a service. So that's why that is where it is. And then at the end, you always get that little dink and a little pop-up saying it's finished, so you know to move on to the next. Now, while it's running tweaks or doing installs, the GUI does become unresponsive. Another area where I'm going to improve on in the future, maybe if you're watching this a year from now, it's already done, is multi-threading and using run spaces and some other really cool stuff, but it's very complex. So I just wanted to get this out uh, and show you some of the limitations and stuff I'm still working on, but I think it's so much better than the old tool that I wanted to get it out. Next thing is the configs tab. Uh, features, this is just what you, like if you want NFS or Hyper-V or all the .NET, most people will just want .NET for like gaming and things of that nature. And what this is, is if we go into appwiz.cpl, turn on Windows features, and basically it's just coming in here and clicking this or coming in here and clicking NFS or whatever it might be that you're you're going for. Instead of having a hunt for these things, I just made it a checkbox and it'll install 
of them all in one go. You can still do it from here. You don't have to use the tool for it, but that's one thing I kind of wanted to do. Also, reset Windows updates. Let's say you use some other tool and it just breaks your Windows update. Hit reset Windows update. It will completely put everything to factory default settings. This is actually a script from TechNet uh, from Microsoft to do all this for you. So very good. This is obviously just some old school control panels, things that are there and you kind of want to get back into on Windows 11, Windows 10, just having all of that uh, legacy panel options there to get things done because the new way I'm not a big fan of. And if you want the old legacy panels, they're still there in Windows 10 and Windows 11, just kind of hidden. And then finally, we have updates. Uh, the big thing is this is the default. That's what Windows is, the way you know it comes out. If you click this, it'll reset everything to default out of box settings. Security, that's the one I always do. I highly recommend doing recommended update settings. And this is the one I don't recommend, but was highly requested for people that have like, maybe they use their Windows box for one specific thing and they don't want anything changing and they don't want Microsoft changing their system. Uh, and that includes security updates. So obviously hitting this will disable all updates and you will become vulnerable. So I don't recommend this, but it's there for those that really want to disable updates altogether and aren't, aren't going to use like public Wi-Fi or something like that, uh, where you'd obviously not want to do if uh, you were traveling. Uh, but I at least want to give the option. If you want a step-by-step -step of all this in, in here, go to the website, christitis.com forward slash windows dash tool. It goes over all of the things I just talked about in this video. Now, I also want to say thank you to everyone that donated through the toolbox to get the offline executable. This executable is basically just an EXE wrapped uh, PS1 file. So it just takes the PowerShell, wraps it up a, a, into an executable format that you can run offline. I'm working on getting this signed and some other things. You will get some false positives if you do download it as it is today. Uh, however, I am working on getting all of that done. I anticipate that being done at towards the end of this month. Uh, it's just working with a lot of companies to make that uh, reality. On top of that, if you want to contribute through code and, and say, hey, I found a bug with your program, or hey, I can figure out a way to make it look a little bit better, go over to GitHub. You will see the win util uh, one right here. This one is what all the code is. So if you want to fork this, if you want to take your own, you can go wild with it. Have, have a ball. Uh, this is all the hard work I've put into this. It's all open source. And if you, if I, right now I'm looking for someone that really knows a lot about run spaces and multi-threading, if you want to take a look at the test, uh, something I'm kind of working on is hashes and sync hashes. If you're familiar with that, with PowerShell, please <laughs> hit me up, give me a pull request or look through my code and go, yeah, you missed this, this, and this, uh, to, to make it. That's just the test PS1, uh, where I'm working on the next evolution of this script. But with all that, thank you guys for at least watching the video and uh, download and using the tool. All that helps, uh, you know, expand it and, and make this a better thing. I want this tool to be the absolute best and keep evolving and getting better. Uh, I think it's already one of the best tools on the internet, and I think we'll just keep after it and make it even better. So with that, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section, and I'll see you in the next one.